you know, one story that's always stuck out in my mind. Um, one of the first times I really saw conversion take place, and I really felt the power of the Book of Mormon. Um, we, um, we actually, it was a Sunday, we were at church, and we had this, you know, young woman came in to church just from the street. She had come to us. Um, she was actually really excited about, you know, the church, wanted to learn more. So we taught her a, a first lesson about the Restoration. Um, and then somehow she, you know, after this lesson, we thought she'd come to the meetings with us. She actually slipped out. And we didn't have, we had nothing. I think we had a first name. We didn't have a phone number, no address. Um, we didn't have anything. Um, and so we as missionaries felt like we just, you know, how did we not get this information? Um, but she took a Book of Mormon. She took a, an invitation to actually go see the prophet who was coming um, the following weeks, a couple weeks out. Um, and and she was gone. Um, the lesson actually went really well, which was also cool because I was at the beginning of my mission, you know, still trying to get into that. Um, but after a while, um, it was a few weeks, um, we actually decided to, you know, to really fast and pray about that, that maybe she would, you know, find interest again or come back or, you know, contact us. Um, and I believe it was the next Sunday. We are, you know, in church again and who walks through the door? Well, she did. Um, she came in through the door, and, and that was that testimony to me of fasting and, and praying, which is also something I learned from this conversion experience. But um, you know, as we met with her and taught with her, she just had this excitement and interest in learning more about God and figuring out what you know she really believed. Um, and you know, as that that, pro that went forward, um, we actually learned that she had gone and seen the prophet. Um, she had, you know, read a lot of the Book of Mormon, um, and I can still remember, you know, what sticks out in my mind is going to her, um, to the first time going to her home and teaching her. Um, we took a joint teach with us, which is actually also really a positive thing. He was a younger guy, um, and ended up being really good friends. Um, but we went there and, and we talked for a minute, and then we started talking about the Book of Mormon. And then she, you know, when we asked her what she thought about it, she just paused and, and, and shared her testimony that every time she would, you know, grab the Book of Mormon and open it and begin to read in this book or even just to hold it, she just felt this joy and this light and this smile came across her face and she just um, truly felt the spirit of the Book of Mormon. Um, she just, she said, you know, everything, stress, work, um, it all just goes out the window and all I can do is smile. She just said, I sit here and smile. Um, and I just, I can remember that, you know, impacting my testimony as much as it is hers, if not more, and, and just remembering, you know, wow, this, this book, this gospel, it changes lives. It really changes lives. Um, and I just, that's something that will always stick in my mind, is feeling that. I, I really felt her testimony, and I felt a testimony of the Book of Mormon, um, how powerful that is. And, and, you know, she, from that point on, you know, I didn't feel like we were teaching her. She was teaching us. She was, you know, she read through the Book of Mormon. She was learning. She was understanding. Um, and she came to a knowledge of, of the gospel really quickly. Um, and, you know, and, and that was the time I really saw a true conversion take place. Um, that was just an incredible experience for me, a testimony builder for me.